So now we're moving on to winter and you're going to see a few less candles and that's because I have given some away. I was buying for people for gifts. I wasn't just buying for myself. So I gave away chestnut and clove. I gave away a duplicate party dress and I gave away, I'm giving away um, two marshmallow firesides. So moving on to the winter collection, I'm going to start with the classic fragrances. Um, first one is winter candy apple. This came in a whole lot of different packaging. I really like this. I think it's very festive, very cute. Smells wonderful. I have not burned this one a lot. I was kind of trying to go through fall first, but I'm going to have to bring it out, especially this week and next week because it's the holidays. So the notes on this are candied apples, crisp pears, and oranges. It's a very vibrant smelling candle. It's a good loud candle. You can see it burns pretty cleanly. I've burned this a couple of times already. I really like this one and I will be getting it again next year. The second holiday one I have is Frosted Coconut Snowball. I told you this was a new favorite of mine and you see it burned really good. I burned it maybe a couple of times. Smells wonderful. Now this one is not that loud. Um, the notes on it are toasted coconut, vanilla, musk, and whipped cream. It's not as loud as this one, but it still has a really a decent throw on it. I like it. Mm, it just smells sweet and warm. Oh, I just love it. And the coconut is not overpowering. That was the big thing I was scared of with this one was that the coconut was just going to be like, bam, right in your face. But it really is a good mix of all three notes. So I really, really like it. So let me show you the throwback I have of the holiday candle. And that is Vanilla Bean Noel. So this is my throwback packaging one of this one. This is now smelling really, really smoky. Um, this one was from last year. I believe it was last, it had to be last year. And now it just smells like smoke. I, I still burn it because now I get more of a smoky vanilla. You guys know I love me some vanilla, but when you stick your face in this, it is smoke. But the correct notes are vanilla bean, marshmallow fluff, and vanilla cake. We have hot cocoa and cream. I have burned this probably a couple of times, or I might have just burnt it once so far. The notes are decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. And the top has a little Christmas tree on it. I'm trying not to blind you guys to death, but how super cute is this? It smells like hot chocolate with marshmallows. It smells exactly like what it says. Clean burn. The throw is... The throw is decent. It's not too loud. It doesn't make like the whole house smell like um, hot chocolate, but decent throw on it. I like it. Next one we have is In the Stars. I was really excited about getting this one. Mmm. It smells so wonderful. I was so excited because I'm in love with the scent. So I was like, I have got to get the candle. It is bergamot, champagne, night blooming, water lily, and pink salted amber. You smell the champagne and you smell the amber. And it just smell, it smells exactly like the body line. It has a loud throw on it, clean burning. It is mm, just a beautiful, beautiful smelling candle. So in love with it, plain top on it. I mean, everything else is blinged out. We don't need a blinged out top, but this is all the blingage that we need. The next one I was excited about getting was Party Dress. It has a plain top as well. Um, clean burn, very loud candle. I love that. The notes are um, Blend of Peony, Soft Jasmine, and Orchid Petals. Nice, loud smell. It's a soft, soft fragrance but it does burn kind of on the loud side there's a little crack right here not sure what was going on with that so I was a little disturbed when I opened up the package again and saw the crack and I think it might have just been because it was in one of these little crate things and it might have been on the bottom I'm guessing that's what it was so 
Mm, it smells so good. I need to burn this like right now. But um, next time I burn it, we'll see what happens to it. But this is an awesome, awesome candle. Good throw on it. We have Black Tie by White Barn. I'm telling you, White Barn is just killing the game. This is the top. I'm not trying to blind you guys. This iridescent looking um, candle wax is just everything. It's like a beautiful blend of blue and purple and like gray and it's just gorgeous. Um, notes are aromatic sage, dark tonka bean and rich sandalwood. Once again, nice loud candle. I mean, it's not like bam, punching it in the face, but the throw on this is really good. It's a nice perfumey smelling candle and I like it a lot. Um, Frozen Lake. This one, eh, I don't know. Um, beautiful top on it. Um, very sooty. The notes on this one are lavender, cypress essential oil, lavender and cypress essential oils with notes of eucalyptus and juniper berry. This is a very essential oil smelling candle. So if you love essential oils, then this is the candle for you. It's not exactly a favorite, but if you need a nice, it is a strong scent. If you need a good strong scent like that, this candle is it. And this one I took a chance on, citrus and sandalwood. It was the only one left in the store. Check out the lid on this one. How cute is that? Super cute. You can, you can smell the citrus in it. The notes of sparkling lemon, creamy sandalwood, mandarin zest, and with essential oils. You can definitely smell the mandarin. You can smell the sandalwood, but really the citrus is what is the star of the show on this one. Packaging is, eh, it's okay, kind of cute. Nice clean burn, good throw on it. I like this one a lot. I didn't think I was gonna like it, but I really and do. And this is the one that I wished I had bought four of these. I don't see it anywhere. I don't see it on the website anymore. I'm sad and distressed, but it is Fireside. This one was a surprise to me. I don't know if this came out last year or not. Um, this is the top on it, plain white barn top. The packaging is everything, everything. I've burnt this about three times. I really don't want to burn it anymore because I love it so much and I'm scared it's going to go away and it's never going to come back. Okay, sorry about that. The notes are smoked cedar, clove buds, and warm embers. Hmm. I just want to sit and smell this candle. It smells so good. It's the smoke and the the embers, the smoke. I don't really smell the clove, but the cedar. It's it smells like a a burnt wood, a really fragrant burnt wood. And I'm sorry I'm talking into this candle, but I love it so so much. If they come back with this candle before the end of the year or um, well, after Christmas, I'm buying like 40s, like on the spot. It is so good. It's just the perfect combination of smoke and scent. And I didn't think I would like this, but I absolutely am obsessed with it. You guys know my obsession with marshmallow fireside. Cute lid, sorry about that smells wonderful and it burns well so great smelling candle absolutely love it one of my faves and the newest two candles that i got were mahogany apple and i burnt this once and it smells really lovely the notes are mahogany woods golden apple pink peppercorn and fresh lavender sprigs this one was not it's not that loud. It's loud, but it's, well, it's not that loud. It, it's okay. I do like the apple. Really, all I'm getting out of this is the apple smell. And 
that's about it. But, and last but certainly not least is French baguette. So I have burned this a couple of times. As I did mention previously, it does smell like bread. There's no butter note in it, but it does smell like a French baguette. So the notes are, um, it just says it's a blend of slow rising dough, crispy crust, and fresh out of the oven aroma. And that it does. And the great thing about this, now most people like candles that smell kind of loud. You know, I like a loud smelling candle. This does not smell that loud. And I am actually happy about that because my fear with this candle was I was going to burn it. It was going to smell like bread all over the house and I was going to be hungry the whole time that this candle was burning. So I'm really happy that this candle is very faint in smell. It just gives you a hint of bread and that's it. And you can't really smell it all over the house or all that. So that's my collection, folks. I'm still over here smelling fire sign. Excuse me while I go through my obsession with this candle. But that's it. If you've used any of the candles below, let's talk about it. I'm staying on the hunt for fireside. I'm going to sit here and continue to smell my candle and maybe I'll burn it later. That's it. I'll talk with you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.